Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Izzy. And I'm Maggie, and today we're talking about three styles of drill bits you probably haven't heard of. So we're going to have some fun with these drill bits today. We're going to take these drill bits that you probably haven't heard of, and we're going to go head-to-head -head against traditional bits that you probably have heard of, like spade bits, Forstner bits, and twist bits. All right, Maggie, which one should we start with? The Wood Owl Overdrive bit. All right, let's do it. And I'll yeah. make this test as fair as possible. We're starting with a brand new 5.8 spade bit and a brand new 5.8 Forstner bit, and we're going to test it up against a not so brand new 5.8 overdrive bit. Also, in the spirit of fairness, we're going to set five different species of wood up and we're going to put them in the clamp. Now, with the Forstner bit, you almost always use a backer board. In this case, we want to see what the potential is for blowout without the backer board. So, we're just going to put a piece of wood in the clamp. We're going to drill three different holes with the Forstner bit, the paddle bit, and the wood owl overdrive bit and see what kind of results we get. We're looking for things like the exit hole, how clean it is, how nice the hole is, and how hard it is to get through the material. Now Maggie and I don't want you just to take our words for it. We brought some friends over to try these drill bits with us. Wow! <laughs> I'm like four years old. So I realize a two minute montage of seeing a bunch of hole drills is a bit much, but I wanted to do it in real time. What you saw was the actual time that it took to drill the holes. Except for the Forstner bits, I actually had to shave some of the time off of those because it was just taking too long in some of the hardwoods like the hard maple and the wenge. Now we're going to switch over to the overdrive bits. It's going to be real video, not sped up, nothing's edited out of it. What you see is really happening. And I have to say that because it's going to be a little bit like you may not believe what you see. It's real. Really, really real. Real? Really. Really. It's pretty smooth. I don't really need to say anything, do I? I think, I think we just do a, we do a tight zoom on this and uh, there you go. I mean, it doesn't even feel like you're drilling anything. That's pretty insane. How do it do it? <laughs>
<laughs> nice, dude, that's legit. So what you saw was real, that really happened. These cut really clean holes really quickly with very little in the way of tear out or blow out. Now the geometry on a wood owl overdrive bit is pretty unique and it's not like anything I've seen really on any other bits. Since we started using these, we've pretty much put our Fortuner bits away. We use these on the drill press and obviously by hand. They make our drilling tasks so much easier. They do an absolutely amazing job. Next up is the Norseman Vortex Point Step Drill Bit. Now, these are really cool. Someone took a twist bit and stuck a stepped bit on top of it. Like, like this, something. So just like before, we're gonna take one of the traditional twist bits and these Vortex bits and put them head to head and see what the results are. Same setup, same scenario, same fun. <laughs> It's not even like you're drilling, it's just like you're poking a hole in the wood. Mm -hmm. Like that's literally what like... it's a peely, it's crazy. Dude, that is insane. Yeah, I'll just take that. <laughs> there might be a few of you thinking that those bits look like they would drill right through metal. And you'd be right. We took one of these bits and drilled through a half inch of metal with no pilot hole, like butter. Before we move on to the next bit, we need to say a huge thank you to all the content creators that came and helped us make this video. Uh, really, really appreciate you guys and all the valuable time that you spent with us to make this. If you guys want to check them out, there'll be links to everybody down in the description box below. These guys are mega talented and put out some really cool content, so I definitely suggest you go check them out. Up next is the Starium 
acetyl antibur bit. That's a mouthful. That's a lot. <laughs> now we can't really do a comparison video with these because there's really not anything to, to compare them to. These do some really, really, really unique things and they cut an amazing hole. So, so Megan and I are gonna show you what these bits can do. The F-style bits can drill a hole pretty much at any angle. You could start the hole, even go eighth inch, quarter inch deep, and then turn it pretty much in any direction you want, which makes these bits the favorites of chair makers all over the world. Now, we did this in Pine. Let's see what it can do in Sapelli. Nice clean entry. Nice clean exit. And I would say at least a 60 degree hole. That is awesome. Okay, so there's your entry points. These two were straight through. This one was at a 50 or so degree angle. Looks like an O-face, like somebody spooked him. And then on this side, nice clean exit points. And I don't know, was that a happy face, Maggie? It's a shocked face. A shocked face, okay. Without doing a comparison drilling or drill bit to this, it's a little bit less in your face at how amazing these bits are. We just drilled through Sapelli and hard maple with clean entry and exit holes in very little time, faster than any spade bit or Forstner bit could do by hand. Now, I get that we didn't put backer boards behind the materials today, and that's normally something that you would do, but we wanted a scenario where it showed the worst results. If you put a backer board behind the wood all bits, or these even, you're gonna come up with really crazy nice cuts. And even if they're a little bit off or there's a little bit of a waste on the spoil board, you're still gonna get a really clean cut, you're not gonna get chip out. And that's really where the value lies in these bits today. Now, as you saw, these are pretty amazing bits. The star ends and the overdrives are made by Wood Owl. They make a lot of really cool bits. And the Norseman Step bits are freaking phenomenal for both wood and steel. And these are a really high quality bits, so you're gonna get a lot of life out of them. Now, I don't wanna cause any confusion. The holders for the Wood Owl bits, uh, these aren't available for sale yet. I make these. If there's a lot of interest in them, I'll go ahead and put them up on my website. So if you buy a set of these bits, they don't come with the holders, just so you know. I don't want to cause any confusion there. Again, links for all of these will be in the description box below, plus a few of the other bits that we use on a regular basis. A couple quick thank yous. I want to say thank you to Mike Taylor for introducing us to these bits and helping us kind of set up how we were going to test them, kind of showing the differences. It was, it was his idea. It was an absolutely phenomenal way of doing it. And all those really nice shots that you saw that were close up and slow-mo today were filmed by my friend Mark who is a hobbyist photographer, videographer, or it's not really a hobby. The guy's legit, got some serious gear. Thank you for letting us your, your, your expertise. It, it and your, was a blast. And your equipment, really appreciate that. That was, that was, was fun. It was a blast. So guys, that's it for today. If you're not already subscribed, you know the deal. Hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification so you see our videos when they come up. And we'll see you guys. In the next video. In the next video. In the next video.